Hi friends, hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Em and in today's video I think I just want to play. I don't have a plan uh, but what I have is those kind of awkward shaped scraps from junk mail envelopes. I used the window part of those envelopes to make some pockets last week with my patrons and I'm left with those and I thought well, they could definitely be made into journaling cards um, because, you know, they have the nice rectangular or kind of squarish shape. But I was thinking about maybe doing something else with them. So my initial idea is I would make them like in pairs. I would make them the same size. And my idea would be to make a booklet out of two, the two of them. So this would be the front cover, which would be decorated, the back cover, which would either be decorated or which would offer some space for journaling. And then in the middle or inside, there would be a couple of pockets. I am thinking a couple of maybe vellum pockets. This would be collaged or just decorated. A couple of vellum pockets with some pieces of ephemera tucked in. And um, I would like to use um, the jump rings and eyelets to kind of join these two parts together. So, do I have kind of the similar, similarly shaped ones? Um, I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to even them out, of course, but I think this, this could work pretty much. Maybe this, yeah, this is better. So I'm currently making uh, some journals and I'm going to need, uh, need four of these booklets. I would like to add uh, one in each of the journals. I'm making seven, but only four of them are going to be decorated. So. I think we we are going to experiment here on camera uh, and then I will make the other three of camera uh, because I suppose this is just going to take me a lot of time which it usually does when I don't have a plan uh, to start with so okay let's just okay is it is it even it is, so I just need to shorten this a little bit. <clears throat> they don't have to be the same, but I would like to be them, I would like them to be as close in size as possible. Hmm? Okay, oh, I think this one. Yeah, it is. Even, even. Okay. That's good enough for me. So, um, what I have here is, of course, my trusty scraps box, which is, as you can probably see, overflowing, absolutely overflowing. But I have some scraps here, uh, these two, I don't remember what I used them for, oh, I used um, the other parts of those to make uh, some decoration on the covers of the journals that I'm working on, but I was thinking because I printed them on a rather thick um, cardstock, um, matte photo cardstock, they would be nice to just add to the front cover then I would add some decoration because they would add some heft to to the cover you know so how about how about I do that with this first and then how much do I have I have three of those and three of those that's fine I think I'm just going to go ahead and glue this piece to the front here and then cut around it. So how are you guys? How is everyone? How have you been doing? I, um, I'm not yet back to my like 
100% form <laughs> uh, with creativity, with filming, as you can probably see. I have been, oops, excuse me, I have been going through a little bit of, uh, not a little bit, but uh, through a creative slump, which happens, you know. We are just people, we, most of us, uh, I suppose, are not creative. Um, all the time so uh, it usually happens to me in February and March so that's that's fine but I think I'm slowly but surely coming out of it and uh, last week I've actually spent the whole last week working on those seven journals they are almost done I just want to add a few more bits and pieces to um, to those those ones that I'm going to decorate and then I will be ready to share them with you um, so yeah so I I was working late late hours like starting in the morning finishing at about 8 9 p.m. but yeah, I just had inspiration. I just didn't feel um, confident enough yet to film last week, but I think we are. I think it's getting better. <laughs> I am filming, aren't I? So that would be my front, and I like that there is this label piece here. Although I suppose this could also be this way. Maybe maybe I like it even more because I will have my binding. However, I decide to bind it here. So then this would be nice to just use for maybe just a little bit of writing. And then for the back, what could I do for the back? I could use the back piece. This one is not wide enough though. So I could technically use this. And do I want to use this? So this would be decorated kind of on both sides. Maybe I like it. Maybe I like it and then we will collage the inside. So let's do it because again, I just like how this adds some substance to this very flimsy, you know, junk mail envelope paper. <clears throat> and I am using glue stick, but I am going to be sewing around it. And that's why I, I am not too worried about gluing it down perfectly now. If I was, then I would probably use wet glue, just because this paper, again, is quite thick. And so... I think it would it would work better to hold it in place but since I am going to be to be stitching around I think glue stick will do. So please tell me how you have been you guys please tell me in the comments. Um, I really really missed chatting with you and and uh, working with you and crafting with you. Um, I think Keeping my fingers crossed, my slump is over <laughs> and that I will be back to doing more projects with you all. Okay. So you guys, if you see, uh, if you hear some weird noises like rain or even, what's the term in English, when it's not snowing and not raining, but it's kind of like the balls of ice, are falling down from the sky. No, I'm not sure what this, what it's this called in, in English. It's grad in Polish. But if you hear any weird noises, the weather is the weirdest today and it has been the weirdest for the past few days. So we have had a really nice warm, it was like spring, it was even like pre-summer temperature. We've had um, 20, 21 degrees Celsius for a couple of days, which was amazing. It was really, really nice. Okay, I think they will go like that. 
and open like this okay let's collage the insides so it was amazing and then um i woke up maybe three days ago and you guys i kid you not we've had more snow than we've had the whole winter I, I i just couldn't believe it um i just couldn't believe it i mean how do you go from like almost summer warm day to so much snow in just you know like a night <laughs> uh, so, so this was just oh my goodness it was just uh, i miss spring so much so today today it's still cold but it's kind of sunny but just just a minute or so ago i really i saw some rain or or this icy thing i don't know what's going on with this weather but something is <laughs> something is going on oh i like this side even better so I think for collaging those two uh, sides, I'm going to use similar pieces. So maybe we will actually manage to make more of those together. We will see how we go with time. This might be a slightly easier project than I anticipated, which is great. It's great, especially when you are coming out of a of a slump right <laughs> so how about i add this here and maybe add this i think i like it and then we could have a similar situation but maybe this direction and i really would like to add some music paper here but I don't know if I have um, large enough pieces. I think for this, this one would actually be great. But here, I think I <clears throat> I need something bigger. Do I have anything here? Oh, how about this? Yeah. It should work, it should work. <clears throat> okay, so um, inking, do I want to ink? Which which one will be kind of on, on top here? Yeah, I think I will ink a few sides <clears throat> with my vintage photo, of course, as per usual. I'm not inking those because I'm going to be um, evening them out with my scissors. So I think I'm just going to ink up those two sides. And then kind of ink around everything when, when I'm done. For this maybe I will actually... Uh, maybe I will actually use wet glue. <coughs> Yeah, it's raining again, but it's also, the sun is also shining still. I don't even know if this is rain or snow. What's going on? And the sad thing is that um, with those warm days, of course, there were so many plants starting to blossom. You know, we've seen flowers, a lot of crocuses and um, what are these? Um, yeah, just a lot of crocuses and some uh, snowdrops, I think, and um, some leaves on on trees were starting to to be seen, and oh, I'm so I'm so sad for them because I don't think they they would survive this. How do I want it? Maybe like this. They would survive this. Um, the snow like oh so much snow so weird 
so so weird okay so i am going to glue this down now for this i'm using just glue stick because the paper is old and thin and i would not like it to i would not like the wet glue to sip through and then i think maybe like this so we can see those symbols okay <clears throat> So yeah, I've been working wo uh, long hours last week and it felt really great. I've been just sitting here in my room, working on the seven journals um, and listening to audiobooks. And I'm actually trying, trying to do something different about those journals. So you guys will see it when, uh, when we flip through them. But I was trying some new style. Um, so you guys know that usually I do those window covers, which I love, which are inspired by Johanna from Johanna Cloth. But I... You know, I owe her so much. She introduced me to um, to the world of junk journaling, and I feel like with her kind of basic design and guideline, I was able to create my own style doing those covers. But I just felt like I really wanted to branch out maybe a little bit, try something new. So you guys will be the judges of whether I was able to do it. But um, these journals that I'm working on right now. They are vintage rose themed using my vintage rose kits from the shop and I'm trying to make them a little bit more like shabby chic uh, with a lot of lace and some buttons and um, the colors I think work well with that so I don't know. No, no, I, I am really enjoying how, how they are turning out. I've done something slightly different with the um, with the tassels as well. So with the, the charms that I usually have on, on the spines on the back. <clears throat> and I, yeah, I'm happy with, with how they turned out and I hope you guys will enjoy them as well. Hope to to be able to share them with you soon. Oh, I think I need one more torn edge. <clears throat> like I said, I just want to add a few more or make a few more items. Yeah, it should work. A few more items, um, like ephemera pockets, something like that, to add to the four that are going to be decorated. <clears throat> okay <coughs> excuse my throat <laughs> right like that and then we have this this piece which I think fits perfectly here I've done a little bit of redecorating here in my, no, not redecorating, but a little bit of reorganizing here with my workspace. So uh, I moved everything left and now my sewing machine is actually right here on the right, which is great because now I can reach it easily compared to how it was previously. And, um, oops, no, I don't think, like, ah, I did not tear this edge. It's going to bother me. Although we are going to have a pocket here. So maybe, so maybe I'm not going to be able to see it <laughs> that much. We will see. So yeah, I find that when my sewing machine is right here and I don't have to kind of move it, around and put it here when I, where I'm working and just um, take it back from where it was. Um, I, I find that I'm using it more, which is great because I just 
absolutely love the the sewing machine um, effect or the sewing effect okay what do we have we have the front the back and our two sides which I really like now I'm thinking how about I add just a little bit of something else some small layering maybe I can find uh, some book pages there is some need of hold them <clears throat> oh I like this although not too much text on this one but maybe this I like the color. Oh, I have more of, <laughs> of those envelope bits. Yeah. There's a lot going on here. There is a lot. <clears throat> But I love this box so much. Um, I always have it here on my desk ready to grab and I just need some scraps to do some quick collaging. Okay, these, all of these, can you guys see them? Um, they are from when my boyfriend was doing some fussy cutting. He cut the edges of the book pages and then fussy cutting with the brother's Canon cut machine. And then I was left with those and I really didn't want to throw them out. So I think I'm going to be making some more of those scrappy belly bands or those things that we've already made together. Oh, how about... How about this and then maybe maybe this so they don't have to be the same but I do want to turn the edges around it okay mm -hmm. yes and then maybe ink up a little bit mm -hmm. and this one okay Now we can glue those down and um, I'm thinking if I want to decorate the front first or if I want to stitch around first. Hmm. We will see, maybe we will make the insides first, so kind of so what I'm thinking for the inside would be maybe first I will ink around those edges and the outside as well. Then we can add our vellum pockets and then maybe I will stitch around and we can decorate the front. So this part. So now I 
actually have some vellum bits and I think I'm just going to use those to make my pockets. So, um, do I want to? Maybe I'm just going to use my scissors actually and hope for the best. <laughs> make, try to make sure that they are even. And I will want to add some decorative edge punching, I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. It's raining again. What a weird weather today, really. <laughs> And I think interesting that you guys are watching or reading right now. I'm always looking for... I'm always looking for... Um, recommendations. Okay, let me take this punch. Uh, yeah, so we are actually, what are we watching? We are watching The Wheel of Time right now. None of us had read the books. This is a fantasy series, uh, in case you, you are not familiar with the title, um, which the series is based on a series of books, a very classical kind of kind of fantasy from from what I can see <laughs> um, and yeah we are enjoying the series I haven't like I've heard so many so many mixed things about the books so I'm not sure I'm going to be reading those but the, the series itself is interesting and we've also we are watching Dark, which is a German a series on Netflix. So Wheel of Time is on Amazon Prime, and then Dark is on Netflix. And it was very popular a few years ago. It's not a new one, but um, like I loved the first season. It was incredible. I won't tell you. I won't tell you what this is about, not to spoil it, um, because it's it's fun to discover it on your own. I can just tell you that they, some children go missing, and um, in this little German town with a big forest and a weird cave in it, and so some children go missing. And yeah, it starts from there. It's very atmospheric and it's very interesting. But the later seasons, it's three seasons in total. And um, the second season was a bit weird. But the third one, I just could not. I just could not. Um, go with it. I was not enjoying it. So we, we've watched maybe two or um, probably more like four episodes from the second season and stopped for now and maybe we will go back but it just the plot was so convoluted and in my opinion the only kind of purpose for that was for the confusion. <laughs> um, it's it really didn't make sense to me and also there were some problems with this that I had uh, with kind of well anyway I would definitely definitely uh, I would definitely uh, recommend season one if you're interested and have not seen it yet and then well if you love it then maybe you will enjoy the later seasons as well so that's what we have been watching okay so i am just using my wet glue and adding some dots of glue to this vellum to keep it in place because i am now going to take it to my sewing machine 
I'm going to stitch around all of this which will help to keep my pockets in place and then I will come back and we will uh, decorate the front and maybe the back we will see okay give me a sec please okay so I just went with a simple zigzag stitch maybe it's more visible on this side uh, I don't know yet if I'm going I'm probably going to cut off these threads and I think now I would like to now I would like to decorate maybe a little bit so what I have here is my bag one of the bags of my fussy cut flowers which is not the best way to <laughs> to store them and uh, not the most efficient definitely when when you're trying to to find something but it is what I have for now maybe if I have this is the same flower maybe if I have some time um, sometime sometime <laughs> I will um, make some um, ephemera holders for those flowers and maybe I will be able to store them better and categorize them by color perhaps but for now my boyfriend has been enjoying the brother's cannon cut so much that he has cut so much flowers for me which i am incredibly grateful for i don't think i've ever had <laughs> this many this many flowers before and you guys know that i love i love using them okay how about this one I like it because it kind of matches the color of the writing here. Maybe this one, why not? <clears throat> so let's see if we can add a little bit of interest. I could, okay, I need to, sorry off camera, I need to tear this edge as well. <clears throat> okay. Let's see. This could go here and maybe something smaller. Something smaller. And a different shape. How about this? Would this work? Or is it too dark? No, I think it actually works. We have some green here as well. Of course, this is the back. This is the front. But yeah, still, I think they <clears throat> they go together pretty well. So this is kind of the first thing that I want to add to this front cover, which is the flower, a little bit of collaging. And then the other thing is I will want to add a little bit of texture with some lace and a button which is kind of the motif main motif uh, throughout those journals that i am currently making so i would like to add it here as well <laughs> This can go here. <clears throat> and then for the flower, I'm going to use my wet glue. It's slightly more precise. Okay, I'm actually running low on this. I will need to restock very soon. I would not like to wake up one day and find out i have no glue left that would be that would be bad <laughs> okay so i like this 
And now, again, I am going to use eyelets and jump rings to join those two. So my eyelets are going to be here. So I don't really want to add much more to here. But I was thinking maybe adding this little cluster either here or down, down here. And the way I'm going to do it is I'm just going to pick some scraps of lace and fabric. Let's see, <clears throat> what do we have here? This is really pretty. How about, oh, I have, I have smaller ones. So let's maybe take a piece like this. And actually I'm going to plug in my hot glue, which I'm using, I'm using to attach those. Okay, plug in. <clears throat> let it heat up. So I could use this and maybe what else? This is of course a mess as well as you can see. <laughs> but but a beautiful mess. <laughs> a beautiful mess. I'm actually thinking, how about I take just a piece of, of this. As you can see, I have been cutting some pieces from this beautiful lace. Maybe I could add it like this, but I would definitely like some color. So maybe just a piece of this. This is stunning. This has been gifted to me by my friend Sandy and my friend Sandra, sorry, who spoiled me with the most beautiful package of laces and fabrics I've ever seen. Okay, I like it. Now, where do I want it? I'm thinking here actually. So that would be a part of it. And then what I would also like to add here would be where is my, <clears throat> my box of buttons and other things. And I have some white or white cream ones that maybe would just look really nice here. I don't want them big. So what I do with those buttons is, I think I like this side more. Does it say five plus? Hmm. Uh, I'm going to take just a white thread. This is a uh, linen thread. A piece of it and without using any needle or anything like that I'm going to thread it through two of the holes of the button this one has four but I just am going to to do it with two so this is purely for decoration obviously this is not going to do anything else I'm tying a double knot and I will show it to you guys in detail in a second and I'm going to cut off those longer threads and so we are um, we end up with a little button like this so I think I'm ready to attach this is my, is my glue ready though yes seems like it please please don't mind the mess that this glue gun is like oh so many this is the cheapest glue gun ever you guys and because it's so cheap it's also like it doesn't heat the glue too well like it's not very hot so there are so many th glue threads i really need to I really need to get a better one because I use a lot of it and then I'm going to use a little bit to attach my button as well. 
this is so simple and so quick I love this way of just adding some texture okay now I just want to check if everything kind of is held in place I think it is and yeah I think it looks super cute I think it looks super cute okay so here we are going to have some ephemera and then the bag do I want to do anything with the bag I don't think so actually I don't think so so I will unplug my glue gun and now what I want to do is the the binding thingy so a ruler and a um, just a pencil so my um, envelope is about 12 centimeters tall so six is the half so let's make let's make my um, let's add my eyelids at four and at eight so they are going to be spread evenly from the center and I'm not going to be making markings on this one because first let's let's use a hole punch to make those and here as well and I'm kind of trying to be as close to um, to the edge of excuse me to the edge of the cover here as possible and what I'm going to do with this one so is this how it's going to be yes I'm going to line it up and mark where I wanted the holes this way because this way they are going to be the most even they can be I suppose okay one and two Cutting those loose threads. Okay, now I'm taking some eyelids. Which I have here. So I need four eyelids. One, two, three, four. Just regular ones. And my rings are not here. <laughs> eyelids so this way of uh, joining like of binding or of the, the base basically this whole idea of using eyelids and uh, jump rings as you will see in a moment is uh, inspired by Maddie whose channel is crafty lore crafty lore I think I think it's maybe one word. I will try, try, try to link her channel below. If I don't, then please, please remind me if you would like to see, or you can just search for Crafty Lore Junk Journals, something like that. She makes the most incredible junk journals. She, oh, she's like another league. <laughs> uh, and, and yeah, she uses this this idea quite often so it's totally inspired by her okay and now let me see about those jump rings i was using them for something else so do i have them here here they are and if you're interested in these particular ones they are six millimeters uh, large so I'm going to open them up and I think I will just use one I think one would will be enough to join the front and the back if you have smaller rings or you would like the to make the, the bigger a bigger chain uh, sort of then definitely use um, two okay now I'm not sure well uh, 
Will it be enough? <coughs> Excuse me for being a bit off camera here, but I really need this kind of closer to my to my head. Okay. Yeah. And I can close the ring now. Okay, so here is what it looks like. Close it a little bit more. Which would help if I had two sets of pliers. Okay. <laughs> I really like it. I love this idea. Maddie is a genius. <laughs> for coming up with this. Okay, this one was much simpler. Okay, all done. So we have our little booklet. I love how it turned out. Um, and yeah, so what I would do, I would probably take uh, some small pieces of ephemera, maybe actually a, a bit of uh, some fussy cut flowers as well put them here and add this to the journal and um, Yeah, I would just probably paper clip it in and so here it is uh, Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this project. I had so much fun. Thank you so much for crafting with me I will make um, Again, I will make four in total. So three more and you guys will see them when I flip through the uh, flip through the um, the journals, the uh, vintage rose journals that I am working on completing very soon. Thank you so much for crafting with me today, and I will speak to you very very soon. Bye, guys. <laughs>